So we have them do the rope bridges because uh, soldiers need that training to overcome obstacles. Um, they need, in the field we, we come across all kinds of different obstacles and, and this, is a, this is a good obstacle for them to physically conquer. Um, a lot of, lot, lot of times we're, we're, un, we're unaware of our own physical capabilities and actually, until we actually put them to the test and this is a very good test to put them to. Let's go you, keep moving. Hand over here, keep coming. Hey, hurry up then. The rope parts are gonna be fun. The repelling part's gonna be a little nervous. You gotta not not fall off that. Other than that, it's gonna be a fun thing. Uh, like on the rappel tower, you gotta trust your battle buddies. So hopefully, hopefully my guy behind me here in front of me does good too. Playing three on rappel. Loose grip diamond. Two. Up over your right shoulder. All right, look at me. Uh, it was cool. I wasn't scared or anything because I'm a, I used to go to camp and we used to do stuff like this before. So it was just something that I've done before and it was fun too. Uh, the differences I would say is this definitely gives us an idea of what a tactical advantage would be over the enemy being able to fast rope into a combat zone and not have to. I guess per se rock into the area whether it will take much more time than fast roping in from say helicopters or other areas. Attention! Your mission is to subscribe and beat feet to the next video. Why haven't you done it yet?